हॅलो आय एम निकिता केणी प्रेझेंटिंग हिअर इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्शन इन मेटल कंडक्टिव्हिटी इज वाईडली यूज टू इंडिकेट मटेरियल टाईप सो इन दिस प्रेझेंटेशन वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू हाऊ डू मेटल्स कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अँड हिट ॲक्च्युली वॉट वॉट डज इट मीन फॉर मेटल टू कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Here we are going through this points important points are classical model for electrical conduction in metal then drift velocity electric mobility ohms law then electrical resistivity of metals etc at last we will focus on failure of classical free electron theory introduction what is conductor conductor is an object or type of material that allows the flow of charge in one or more direction most important or mostly usable example is copper then what is electrical conduction electrical conduction is the movement of electrically charged particles through a transmission medium and the movement can form an electric current in the uh, response to an electric field electrical conductivity it is actually most important property of material actually it is a material's ability to conduct an electric current when an electric potential difference is applied across it difference in conductivity of metal some metals are very good conductors while some are very bad conductor this type of metal classified in three groups as per their different conductivities these are conductor semiconductor and insulator conduct conductivity of metal is decreases from conductor to insulator here sigma c is conductivity of conductor which is highest sigma s is conductivity of semiconductor which is moderate in comparison to conductor and insulator sigma i is the conductivity of insulator which is very less because insulator has less ability to conduct as shown in figure as temperature increases conductor loses its conductivity slightly then uh, then in case of insulator conductivity increases slightly but semiconductor shows very good result of increase in conductivity as temperature increases so this increase in conductivity is based on actually band theory now classical model for electrical conduction in metal around 1900 drude improved theory of classical conduction given by lorentz now we are interested to know importance of drude model so drude model is a simplistic model for conduction in this model solid consider as fixed array of ions with electrons not bound and that electron do not interact with each other and when field is applied there is a net movement of charge through lattice that uh, actually that is a current flow next this is the drude model of free electron conduction in metal here we can see red dots which are considered as fixed array of ions and blue dots are free electrons drude made some assumption on the basis of that he improved classical theory this assumption are given below first assumption is metal contains free electrons move through lattice of positive ion these free electrons are responsible for electrical conduction when an electric potential is maintained across the conductor then electric field produced which is considered to be uniform throughout solid third is third assumption is of repulsive and attractive forces of electron and lattice ions fourth in this assumption law of kinetic theory of gases are applicable to the free electron so these are the assumption of drude theory 
नेक्स्ट इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एवरेज काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज डिफाइंड बाय हाफ एम ई बी टी एस स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाय टू के के टी वेर एम ई इज द मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन बी टी एच इज द थर्मल वेलासिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन के इज द बोल्समन कॉन्स्टंट एंड टी इज एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर थर्मल वेलासिटी ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन एट अ गिवन टेम्परेचर इज बी टी एच इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ थ्री के टी बाय एम ई नाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज ड्रिप वेलॉसिटी एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड प्रोवाइड्स पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस विच क्रिएट्स अ फोर्स इज इक्वल टू एफ इज इक्वल टू ई इन टू ई वेर स्मॉल ई इज द चार्ज ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड कैपिटल ई इज मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फोर्स एक्सेलरेट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो न्यूटन्स लॉ इज एफ इज इक्वल टू एम ई इन टू ए द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर कोलाइड विद आयन कोर्स इन द लैटिस एक्चुअली इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ देअर कैनेटिक एनर्जी ट्रांसफरिंग दैट एनर्जी टू आयन लैटिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस कंडक्शन इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव विथ अ कॉन्स्टेंट वेलोसिटी एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड ड्रिप वेलोसिटी विच इज डिनोटेड बाय वी डी वी डी इज इक्वल टू ई इन टू कैपिटल ई इन टू टो बाय एम ई वेर टो इज द मेन कॉलिजन टाइम इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी सो मोबिलिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज डिफाइन एज मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ड्रिप वेलोसिटी एक्वायर्ड बाय इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन यूनिट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विच इज डिनोटेड बाय म्यू म्यू इज इक्वल टू वी डी बाय ई हिंस ड्रिप वेलोसिटी इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द अप्लाइड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बाय पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ ड्रिप वेलोसिटी फ्रॉम लास्ट स्लाइड वी गेट न्यू फॉर्मूला ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी इज म्यू इज इक्वल टू E into two by m e. It is nothing but a proportionality constant. Now relaxation time and mean free path. If electric field is switch off, v d means drift velocity decays exponentially to zero, and electron will be moving with velocity v zero. Is v zero is equal to v d raised to minus t by two r. Where t is the time counted from instant field is turn off, and two r is the relax uh, relaxation time, and if we are uh, consider one condition, where where t is equal to two r, we get v zero equal to v d by e. Therefore, relaxation time is defined as time during which drift velocity reduces to one by e times its maximum value. After electric field is switch off, and uh, average distance travelled by electron between two successive collisions during their random motion is called mean free path and denoted by lambda. Next is Ohm's law. We are consider a conductor of length L and area A, where electric current I is passing through conductor, so that current I is directly proportional. to voltage drop phi across the conductor which is called ohms law v is equal to ir this is the macroscopic form of ohms law then electrical resistance r is rho into l by a from that we can write resistivity value rho is equal to r into a by l we know that resistivity and the conductivity are inversely proportional to each other then J is equal to sigma e, or J is equal to e by rho, is in the form of conductivity and resistivity. So this is the form. Uh, this is the microscopic form of Ohm's law. We know that current density is J is equal to current upon area of the conductor. So therefore, J is equal to L into V by A into R into L. then conductivity is sigma is equal to i by a into e now vi characteristics of ohms law as per law v is equal to ir where v is directly proportional to i and i is inversely proportional to the r graph of 
वी वर्सेस आय शोज वी एंड आय आर शोज लिनियर नेचर रिलेशन बिटवीन ड्रिप वेलोसिटी एंड करंट डेंसिटी हियर वी आर कंसिडर एन बी नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ कंडक्टर एंड बी डी इज ड्रिप वेलोसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ चार्ज ई सो नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स क्रॉसिंग एनी क्रॉस सेक्शन पर यूनिट टाइम इज एन इंटू वी डी इंटू ए डे फोर करंट पासिंग थ्रू एनी क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ कंडक्टर इज गिवन बाय आई इज इक्वल टू एन ई इंटू वी डी इंटू ए फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन कैलक्युलेट करंट डेंसिटी जे इज इक्वल टू एन ई इंटू वी डी देन वी कैन राइट कंडक्टिविटी इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू एन ई वी डी बाय ई फॉर दिस इक्वेशन यू फर्स्ट रेफर लास्ट स्लाइड वेयर आई ऑलरेडी गिव रिलेशन ऑफ करंट डेंसिटी एंड कंडक्टिविटी थर्मल वेलोसिटी इज गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन टाइम एंड मीन थ्री पाथ सो टो इज इक्वल टू लैमडा बाय वी टी एच वैल्यू ऑफ वी टी एच इज ऑलरेडी मैंशन इन अर्लियर स्लाइड फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन फाइंड आउट न्यू रिलेशन ऑफ कंडक्टिविटी एंड रजिस्टिविटी now very important point is electrical resistivity of metal resistivity of metal is due to scattering of conduction electron so there are two reason for that first is due to collision of conduction electron with vibrating vibrating lattice ion this resistivity is called phonons denoted by rho p or thermal or temperature component denoted by rho t also this is called ideal resistivity second reason is scattering of electrons by impurities present in metal which is denoted by rho i and this is called residual resistivity therefore total resistivity is rho is equal to rho p plus rho i then rho is equal to me divided by ne square 2p plus me divided by ne square 2i where 2p is the mean collision time of electrons with phonons and 2i is the mean collision time of electrons with impurities present now this is the graph of electrical resistivity versus temperature from graph we can conclude that at low temperature rho p almost zero it means rho is equal to rho i means total resistivity is fully based on impurity present in the metal and at high temperature curve of resistivity versus temperature remains more or less linear but only at room temperature last is the failure of classical free electron theory first is resistivity formula where resistivity is directly proportional to square root of t but experimentally it has linear relationship second is uh, classically molar heat capacity of free electrons in metal is 3 by 2 r but experimentally is 10 to minus 4 rt then conductivity where sigma is directly proportional to electron density n uh, in divalent and trivalent metals should possess much higher uh, conductivity values than monovalent metal but silver and copper are more conductivities than zinc and aluminum then average kinetic energy of electron is 3 by 2 kt but observed kinetic energy is only kt so these are the drawbacks of the classical free electron theory for good guidance you must use below reference which i have used first is material science and engineering book by william smith then uh, electrical conduction in metal lecture series by nptel Thank you for watching
माय वीडियो